Hello, welcome to day two of our Lent 103 series. Today's topic is blaspheming to the Holy Ghost. Um, our topic for day two is blaspheming to the Holy Ghost. Firstly, we have to define blaspheming. You all know that, uh, what the Holy Ghost means. The Holy Ghost means God. According to Oxford Dictionary, blaspheming is an action or offense of speaking sacrilegiously about God or secret things. In simple terms, in a layman terms, blaspheming in a religious um, sense refers to great disrespect shown to God or to something holy or to something said or done that shows a kind of disrespect. You know that an instruction has been given unto us by God for us to keep and say, so, Okay, brethren, the Spirit says God because God has given us visioners to tell us things that will happen before. And for us to apprehend unto. And say, brethren, God said, don't do this, don't do that, do this, so, so, so. The first question you want to ask as a brother, as a sister, who gave that message? Who said it? Why will they tell me not to do this? Why would they not? Why would they tell me to do this? Why would they tell me not to do that? You have sinned against God. It is not against the person who gave that message. Because after all said and done, when you finish saying everything, you, person, you can go back to meet the person and say, Oh, my brother, my sister, my prophetess, my visioner, I am sorry the way I said it. But you have sinned against God. That single act of saying, who gave that message? Why would they tell me you have blood spent against it? And the Bible is making us understand that it is a sin. Um, let's look at the book of Mark 3, 28 to um, 29 which says verily I say unto you all sins shall be forgiven unto the son of man and blasphemies wherewith soever they say blaspheme but he that shall blaspheme against the Holy Ghost had never forgiveness but is in danger of internal damnation like I said if you say a lot of things of blaspheme against your fellow your brothers and sisters in Christ. It will be forgiven unto you. Then you go and tell the person, Oh, my brother, sir, my sister, ma, I am sorry. Um, I'm sorry um, um, with the way I spoke about you or with the way I said so, 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 and so, or with the way I reacted. You will be forgiven. But when you do it against God, against the word of God, you have been taught and it's okay, you have to do this, you have to apprehend to this, and you blaspheme against the Holy Spirit. You are walking, you are walking, you are you are directly walking into internal damnation. What will it profit you that at the end of your days on earth you don't make heaven as a Christ like? We have been taught to be followers of Christ. Let's look at again, we have to. Look at because the word of the Lord, it has been written, not man, not me. It has been written that if you blaspheme against the word of the Lord, against the Holy Ghost, it is a sin. This period is to let you know and to show you the Bible verses where it is written that when you do it against God, it is total sin and it will never, it can never be forgiven. Let's look at the book of um, Luke. 12 verse 10 which says and whosoever shall speak a word against the son of man it shall be forgiven him but unto him that blasphemeth against the holy ghost it shall not be forgiven this is the second verse that is saying it not I not the elder in charge not the Baba Ladura not the least member 
that is saying it, that if you blaspheme against God, it will not be forgiven. What will be your gain? My brothers and sisters, what will be your gain to blaspheme and not to be forgiven? It is better for you not to do it at all. Let's look at um, another verse, which is still telling us that if you blaspheme against the Holy Ghost, you will never be forgiven. The book of Matthew 12, 31, who says, Wherefore I say unto you, all manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men, but the blasphemy against the Holy Ghost shall not be forgiven unto men. My brother, not me that is saying it all. Mark has said it. Luke has said it. Matthew is still saying it that if you blaspheme against the Holy Ghost, there is no forgiveness. So please, my brothers, I will beg you, I will implore you all to use this period of sober reflection to, to turn away from all your evil ways. We will look at the last um, verse, which is Ezekiel 20, verse um, 27, which says, Son of man, speak unto the house of Israel, and say unto them, Thus says the Lord God, Yet in this your fathers have blasphemed me, in that they have committed a trespass against me. Now, I, Lady Priest, a kene is saying unto you, Monasterians, turn against, uh, turn against from your sin of blasphemy. Turn against it because every other sin will be forgiven. If you blaspheme against man, it will be forgiven. But against the Holy Ghost, there is no forgiveness. I pray that God will help us all in this super reflection that our teachings will touch you all to enable you and let you all to change and turn away from your, your sinful ways. Thank you. Thank you for turning into day two of our Lent 103 series. Please ensure to follow us on all our social media platforms at Monster London where we'll be uploading daily content to help you during the Lenten journey. Thank you and God bless.